Well, this is uh, Disaster Radio, our first uh, full prototype. Uh, it's solar powered, uh, lithium ion battery, uh, and it has a Wi Fi antenna inside and a LoRa 915 megahertz off to the side here. It's powered by a solar panel, which is embedded in a 3D printed enclosure. If we open her up, uh, that's connected to a circuit board. And underneath we have our uh, solar lithium ion battery, which is controlled by this module here. And a Wi-Fi chip, which connects to a downward facing antenna for clients to connect. And is also connected to a long range antenna to connect to other disaster radio nodes controlled by this chip. So here we are on the top of the Omni Commons community space. In this building, we've done most of the work for the disaster radio prototype. And right beneath us is in fact the Suterum hackerspace that has helpfully supplied us with both tools and expertise to help us get this uh, to the point that it is now. And I have here one of the disaster radio full solar powered, battery powered prototypes. And the reason I'm on the roof here is I wanted to show you that it has a simple hose clamp attachment. And this is just um, the um, example stand that we have for it. But the reason we're using a hose clamp attachment is because if we look over here on some of the adjacent buildings, most of the buildings here in Oakland, and in fact in the US, have these vent pipes. And these vent pipes are very easy attachment points for uh, these nodes. So all you need to do is go on the roof and uh, find a vent pipe and then a few seconds with a Phillips screwdriver and you're ready to go. All right, and we've left our node on the roof here, so now we're going to head down into the Suterum hackerspace. All right, now we're down in the Suterum and uh, we're right underneath where we put the solar node, quite a tall roof here. And now let's see if we can connect to it. So I have my laptop right here. And I am going to see, here it is, the disaster radio Wi-Fi access point. And there's a little number here that's unique for every disaster radio node. So they don't have the same access point ID. So let's see, now it's connecting. Oh, yeah, and connected. So right now you have to, for the prototype, you have to type in the IP address of the node, which is always the same. We're gonna change that to a host name. And it loads up the web app straight from the node. So here is the only app we have right now, which is the chat. And it asks to enter your name or alias. So I'll enter Mark and Mark joined the channel. All right, here we are. Um, I've only gone about a block away from the building we were at before, uh, but there's an apartment complex between us and the building, so um, that should block any kind of Wi-Fi that we might be able to pick up at this range. So now I'm gonna power up this little portable node that I brought with me. Um, and uh, the way I'm powering it up is using a standard USB battery. So. This should give me another Wi-Fi access point that I'm going to connect to from my phone and we'll see if I can get some chat messages over the network. So I pulled out my phone and I'm about to scan for Wi-Fi access points here. Um, and it finds this as the radio access point and it's already connecting because I've been connected to this one before. It's going to check for internet connectivity but it's not going to find any because there's only locally hosted apps available. So I'm going to just go to Firefox and I'm going to load up the chat app so here we go Sasser radio chat app is loaded oh yeah and uh, look at this we got a message from someone at Sudoroom pseudo member saying this is a message from Sudoroom this is a Sasser message from Sudoroom so it works <laughs> 